Hello. This tutorial is to help you set up and complete your sportswear profile. The instructions were sent via email, but can also be found on the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers website in Inside Athletics, Department Athletic Training. Here you will find Sportswear Introduction Letter. In this letter, you will find the information required by the sports medicine staff as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how to join Sportswear, set your password, and update your information. You can also find on the website a link to Sportswear. By clicking on this link, you are going to start by clicking the button Join Sportswear. By joining Sportswear, you're going to input your school ID which was on the instruction page, which is FSC Brooklyn, and then you'll hit next. After this, you will put in your first name and your email, preferably your St. Francis email if you have one. And then you will select your college, which is St. Francis College and then you hit send. This prompt will tell you that the athletic trainer has to first accept your request to join Sportswear. Once this has been completed, you will receive an email from Sportswear with the link to setting up your new password. Be sure to check your spam just in case. Once you open this link, you will supply the password you used when you were setting up Sportswear, and you will set a password. Then it will take you back to the login page where you will then log in with the password you had just created. This is your athlete portal. Here you will find the forms you will need to sign and complete, access to your athlete information, access to your medical history, and you will find forms to report ADD, ADHD, if you are diagnosed with either, excellent brain concussion testing login directions that needs to be completed prior to your first practice, physical examination if you choose to get one ahead of time, and directions on scheduling an appointment on sportswear. The first part is to complete your athlete information. That can be found by either clicking here or my info. If you know your student ID number, please enter it in the ID section. Everything with a red asterisk requires your completion throughout all of the tabs. Please select your class, your gender, and your date of birth in this format. Then you are going to select your sport. You don't have to save between each. You can just click to the address tab to complete the next part. Here, you are going to complete your current address as in where you will be living while attending school. In the secondary address, you can put your home address and you'll put your cell phone number. Next, you will hit the emergency tab. Here, you will fill out your emergency contact information. Please specify the relationship and their current address. Even if it is the same address you will be living at while attending school. as well as a cell phone number for them. Next part is your insurance information. Here is where you will input your insurance information. 
the name of your insurance company, If you know the address, which can be found on the back of the card, please input that. The last name of the policy holder, which in some cases may or may not be your parents or your guardian. Their information, as well as address and date of birth if you know it. Here is where you're going to put your policy ID number, as well as group number, all which can be found on the card. Then you can upload the front of your insurance card and the back of your insurance card. And this can be done by taking a simple picture of it. In this section, you are going to put any allergies or alerts that you may have. There is a drop down menu, but if you have something that is not listed, feel free to just type it in manually. As well as if you are taking any medications, this can be listed in this notes section. If you are not taking any, you can simply write none or NA. And then all you have to do is hit save. Here it is prompting me that I have not completed my information because I did not upload the front and the back of my insurance card. Here it states that it is incomplete, but once I upload my photos, it will then disappear and no longer appear in the status area. Next, we are going to complete the medical history portion by clicking here. You're going to put in your sport as well as answer all of the questions with either a yes or a no. If you answer yes, you are going to need to elaborate in the comment section. So if you have an injury, or if you're diagnosed with a chronic illness, or ADD, or ADHD, if you had a surgery, or if you've had uh, a concussion, you can put estimated dates of when those things have happened. so that we get a great idea of your medical history. And then at the end, we ask you females a question, two questions. The males can simply just put no in these sections. And then you are going to hit save. Once you do so, again, if you missed a question, it will come up as a prompt and you can either go back or hit okay and save it for later. I'm gonna go back. And the question was this one. Then now I'm going to hit save. And there you go. Now my status does not show that I'm missing my medical history, but it is now complete. Next, we are going to complete the four required forms. You can either access it by clicking the number four or the forms tab. Here are the four forms you need to sign and they can all be done electronically. All you need to, is to do is select the form, hit open, type in whatever it's requiring. So most of them are requiring your name, some might require date. At the time of completing the forms, if you are under 18, a parent or guardian must be listed here as well. And then you're going to hit the Save and Submit button. Here, you're going to electronically sign one last time. And check the box, I acknowledge. And then hit Submit. It will prompt you that you cannot make any changes to the document after this has been done. Please select OK. And close. Here, it will say your status is signed. You will do the same for all of the forms. And once I am done reading the forms,
it will again say signed. Here, since I did not complete all the forms, now it lets me know how many forms I have left to complete. And those are two. The concussion form needs to be read, and then page two needs to be initialed after each statement. And again, you're going to hit save and submit to electronically sign them. Check the box acknowledge and hit submit. The last form has three parts that you will need to read, the assumption of risk, drug testing form, and the medical information form. Again, you're going to sign all of these. And that is it. You have now signed all four forms. The portal will now show that you have zero forms to complete, as well as you have completed your My Info and Medical History. If something has changed, all you need to do is hit My Info and change whatever that may be, whether it be your address or your insurance information. Again, if you have ADD or ADHD, you will need to open this form and get it completed by your doctor and submit it to the athletic training staff. Either upload it into the form section where you can hit add and choose the file or hand it in in person when you arrive to campus. You will also need to complete Excellent Brain, which is our concussion baseline testing. And you can find those instructions here. That is it. Thank you for tuning in to this tutorial and good luck in your St. Francis College career.